Tickets for a show cost $3 or $5. If 50 tickets were sold for a total of $230, how many tickets were sold for $3? So we've got an, a question where we can set up a couple of equations and then hopefully solve for the variables and figure out how many were sold for $3. So tickets cost either 3 bucks or 5 bucks. 50 tickets were sold. So let's say let x equal the $3 tickets. And y is going to equal the $5 tickets. We just pick those letters randomly. So the first thing we know is that x plus y equals 50. And they were sold for a total of $230. So that means I know that 3 times x, because the number of t tickets I sell for 3 bucks, I multiply by 3 to see how much I've made off those tickets, plus 5y for the same reason uh, as we did before, is going to equal 230. And I've got two equations and two unknowns. So let's see. Uh, let me multiply the top by negative 3. Actually, we want to solve for x, right? Because we want to know the number of t $3 tickets. So let's multiply the top by negative 5. And now I'll go ahead and add these cancel as we would want them to. That's the whole point why we multiply by negative 5. So we get negative 2x equals negative 20. Divide both sides by negative 2. And I get x is 10. So that would be choice A. That's one way to do it. You also could plug in the answers. So if I had 25 tickets that sold for $3, for example, that would yield me 75 bucks which means I'd have to have 25 tickets selling for 5 because I've got a total of 50 tickets. And if I do 25 times 5, I get 125. But the problem is 125 plus 75 gives me uh, not 230, but instead 200. So I know that C wouldn't work. Whereas if I test 10, 10 times 3 is 30. I'm going to have 40 tickets left that's selling for 5 each. So that's another 200 bucks because 40 times 5 is 200. And then 200 plus 30 is 230. So it works out. So you can either do it algebraically or plug in the answers or perhaps best, both, so that you can make sure you are tackling the question correctly.